Okay, so I have attached the bed. As you can see, these springs are pretty much pushed to their limit uh, in terms of compression. I might end up having to trim them off, but for now, for my purposes, this is going to be fine. But as you, you can see the setup, um, underneath in the rail, uh, it's a lot easier to get the hex heads, but what I ended up doing was taking and running down my lock nut as far as I could, really close, and then you simply take a couple, a couple nuts and bind them against each other so that they lock in place and then you can get a hold on the nut at the bottom if all you have are the hex head bolts so there's that you you won't have to wait for a special order to get the bolts and you'll probably have extra ones just laying around that you'll be able to use so that's nice the only other thing that I want to stress again is that you want to make sure there's a lot of tension in this system or at least a, a fair amount of tension and the reason for that is I'm using I'm not using lock washers on top I'm screwing them tighter and looser all the time well you know if you're using this a lot you will you're gonna wear out the lock washer anyways and a lot of tension will keep these from loosening or tightening over time uh, but if you're worried about it, go ahead and use a lock, lock nut and it'll be fine. You'll have enough clearance as long as your probe isn't super short for, uh, for auto leveling. And the other thing that I wanted to show you guys is how simple it is to hook up your heated bed after you have it installed. Over here, as we're looking at, as we're looking at the Rambo, um, I don't know if you can see there, but the last cell says heat to bed. So our leads can go ahead and just go right in there and we're good to go. I will say one thing about the heated bed is that the thermocouple or the, the thermistor, I keep saying thermocouple, the thermistor that you're going to be using for your heated bed for the stock configuration of Rambo uh, as your board is going to be your third. It's probably going to be your third. It was it was my third. So just in case, you can see this is a Rambo 1.2. You probably can't see. It's a pretty terrible potato of a camera. But I'm going to plug those in, and then in the next video, I'll go ahead and test them out. And if they work, well, we'll make our first print that doesn't come unstuck from the bed. Alright, hope you liked it.